Livia and Emily's partnerships relates to FA2 syllabus area H. This question tells us that they're in partnership, sharing profits and losses in the ratio 2 to 3. We're then told that the year ended 31st of May 20x1, there was a partnership profit of $217,335. There was some drawings of $17,000 each. Interest is charged at 9% on all drawings. And then they were given specific interest on capital. So Olivia getting 17175 and Emily is 14655 Based on all of those numbers, we had to calculate Emily's share of the residual profit. In order to work out what Emily's share is, first of all, we need to work out what the residual profit is going to be. The partnership profit was 217335 We then need to make adjustments to that profit based on information relating to the partners. If there were salaries, we would deduct them. However, there aren't any mentioned in the question. But what is mentioned is interest on capital, which would be an expense to the business because it's owed back to the partners. So I'm going to include that as a deduction. We know we are given the two figures for interest on capital for both of them. So the 17175 plus the 14655, which gives us 31,830. So I'm going to take that off of my profit, which will give me a subtotal of $185,505. We don't adjust for the actual drawings. They go to the drawings account. But what we do adjust for is the interest charged on drawings. This would be charged to the partners. And so therefore, we need to include that as part of our profit and loss. We know that drawings was 17000 each. So that's 34,000. And we're told that it's charged at 9%. So taking 9% of 34,000 gives us 3,060. This is charged to the partners. So therefore, I'm going to add that onto my profit for the business. And the total residual profit is 188,565. Final step is to work out what is Emily's share. We're told that Olivia and Emily have profits and losses in the ratio two to three. Olivia is two fifths of the profit and Emily is three fifths of the profit. So taking the 188,565 and multiplying by three over five will give me 113139, which is the third option as the correct answer. This next question looks at the partnership of Donna and Malcolm. This time we're focusing on current accounts and the information we've been given is that Donna and Malcolm have been in partnership for several years, but their partnership shares profits and losses in the ratio of three to four. At the 1st of January, they had the following credit balances on their capital and current accounts. So showing their balances for both. They then tell us that the partnership statement of profit and loss for the year to December shows a net profit of $59,283. And the partners have also made drawings of $13,250 each. Question is, what is the balance on Donna's current account at the 31st December, so at the end of the year? We can set up Donna's current account as a T account, or you could do it as a list. It tells us that the current account is a credit balance, so we know that the figure at the beginning of the year, at the 1st of January, was 17345 what we also know is that there was a net profit during the year of 59,283, which needed to be shared using the profit ratio of three to four. Donna being three sevenths and Malcolm being four sevenths. So to work out Donna's profit share, we're going to take that 59,283. We're going to divide it by seven and multiply by three, which gives us $25,407. This profit is owed to Donna, so it needs to be added to her current account. And so therefore, the profit is going to go on the credit side because the business owes her this money. So it's 25407 over there. 
looking at what's left in this question that would be relevant to the current account, it would be the drawings. So the fact that the partners have made drawings of $13,250 each means that we need to allocate that to Donna's current account too. So drawings of $13,250 go on the debit side. And then we can balance off this account to work out what the closing current account is for Donna. Each side is 42,752. Both sides have to agree, which means our closing balance at the 31st of December and it's 29,502. So the balance on Donna's current account at the 31st of December is 29,502. Our last question relating to syllabus area H looks at the capital balance and specifically this has goodwill in this question, probably one of the more challenging areas in relation to partnership accounts. What we've been told is that Harry and Ivan are in partnership sharing profits equally, but on the 1st of December 20x0, Janet joined the partnership and the partners agreed to change the profit sharing ratio now to 341 to Harry, Ivan and Janet. At that date, when the new partner came in, there was goodwill of the partnership that had been valued at $48,000. And the capital accounts are 72,000 credit for Harry and then 96,000 credit for Ivan. Then Janet paid $12,000 into the partnership and goodwill will not be maintained in the accounts. So what we have to do is work out what Harry's capital balance is going to be after Janet had joined the partnership. So we're going to need to set up a working for the capital accounts in order to make sure that we can slot in these figures. And we're also going to need to remember the key steps when dealing with a new partner coming into a business and what happens with goodwill. The best thing to do is to work through this chronologically. So what's happened at the beginning? What we know was that Harry and Ivan were in partnership to start with, and we've been told what their capital accounts were before Janet came in. Harry had 72,000 and Ivan had 96,000, which was given to us in the scenario. Then we can work through the steps. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we recognise goodwill as an asset using the old profit share ratio. Our goodwill figure had been valued at 48,000 and we know that they did share their profits equally to start with. So therefore the goodwill, 24,000 for Harry and 24,000 for Ivan. Once we've done that, our second step is then to remove goodwill but we remove it using the new profit share ratio. Our new profit share ratio is three to four to one to the three partners. And so this time we're gonna to need to take that goodwill and split it out using that ratio. So three plus four plus one is eight. And so therefore we're multiplying by three over eight, four over eight and one over eight. So for Harry, the 48,000 taking three eighths of that is $18,000. For Ivan, taking four eighths of 48,000 is going to be 24,000. And then Janet, taking one eighth of 48,000 is going to be 6,000. Third and final step is then to calculate the new capital balance, which using this working we've now set out. So Harry now has 78,000. All we needed, though, was what Harry's capital balance was going to be at the end of the year. And we can see from the options given that the second option is the correct answer.